Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have more of a neutral glam for you and it's all about the eyes today. So they're glittery, they're sparkly, they're big and bold, but with a nude glossy lip. So if you're liking what you're seeing, please stay tuned and watch this tutorial. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye guys. <laughs> Okay, so off camera, I already applied the Stila One Step Bronzer, um, but next I'm going to be applying the Professional by Benefit, and I'm just going to be putting this in my T-zone so my pores do not get clogged. Guys, I literally forgot how good this primer smelled, but next I'm going to be going in with the Kat Von D Lock Up Foundation. Again, this is my holy grail foundation. Just to make the foundation a little bit more smooth and less cakey, I'm going to be adding two drops of the Josie Moran Argan Oil and then just buffing that into my skin. Next, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer, and this is a 24-hour concealer, and I honestly recommend it to everyone, but especially college students. This stuff really conceals my under-eye baggage, dark circles from all those late nights and study hours. This concealer is also waterproof, which I find really cool and unique. But next, I'm just going to be taking a damp beauty blender and buffing that into my skin. Then going in with NARS Creamy Concealer and Custard to just highlight all the high points of my face. Again, taking that damp beauty blender and just really pushing that into the skin. Then taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and just setting that everywhere I highlighted and concealed. And if you guys notice, everything I have is in like a travel size because Sephora really gets me while I'm waiting in line, um, but also college student on a budget. <laughs> But I use the travel size stuff every day and it honestly lasts me so long. But next I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder and make sure to pat this on your face and not rub it because you really don't want to disrupt what you did on your face already with the creamy foundation. But that was just me trying to focus my Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz and clearly it would not focus. Um, but first I did that, then again my Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Gel and if you'd like me to do an in-depth brow tutorial, just tell me in the comments. So the next three products I'm using are all bare minerals and the packaging is all the same so I'm not going to keep showing the packaging but I just went in with the Bare Minerals Bronzer in Warmth. And now I'm going in with the Bare Minerals blush in the color Lovely. And this next product that I'm taking is a shimmer by Bare Minerals and it's called Pure Radiance. It's a little hard to see on camera, but it really just gives your skin a subtle shimmer. Next I'm going in with the oh so good Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. You guys already probably know I love this stuff, but I mean really look how pigmented it is. And then just going over that with the Physicians Formula Glow Pearl Powder. Um, you know, just to magnify it a bit more. And there I am, dancing and singing, as always. <laughs> then I'm going with the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm taking the color Vermeer first. Look at that, wow. <laughs> then I'm going with the Maybelline 24 Hour Color Tattoo Metal in 60 Silver Stripe. Then taking the Gwen Stefani palette by Urban Decay, I'm first going to be taking the color Anaheim and just working that into the crease to give that silver a little bit of definition. Then I'm going to be taking that pretty charcoal gray called Sirius and again going on the outside of my eyes. And then taking the color Blackout really to black out the corners of my eyes and really give the eye look some dimension. Then I'm going back in with the Maybelline 24 Hour Color Tattoo Metal um, just to magnify that a bit more since it got a little lost. And then going back over so the crease is defined. Then taking the Moon Dust Palette by Urban Decay in the color Granite, I'm taking that color right on the inside of my eye just to create a small halo effect. And of course, my camera overheated, so it shut off, but off camera, all I did was add a winged liner with the All May Liquid Liner and put Mykonos Lashes On by Lily Galici. And then also off camera, I added Roller Lash by Benefit, and now I'm going with the Makeup Forever Gloss. <music> Lastly, I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray.
All right guys, well that is the finished look. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it for you. And I actually went somewhere right after I did this tutorial and I got a lot of compliments. So I really hope you all loved it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys. <laughs> okay, so I first saw this when I was editing, but look at my lamp in the background. It's actually just my camera focusing in and out, but I was so scared at first and thought my room was haunted. But I just thought it'd be fun to put in because you know, it's the beginning of October and that means things are about to get spooky. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time.